This workflow video will show you how to create and add 3D paths into Synchro to demonstrate logistic movement on site. 3D paths can be added in Synchro to add movement of vehicles to cranes, as shown here. To create a 3D path in Synchro, if you right click in your 3D window, go to create, then 3D path, double left click to create your first point, and so on for your second point, and so on for your third point. Once you've finished creating your 3D path, if you right click, this wizard will come up name your 3D path, then press OK. Here you can see your 3D path which you have drawn. Now to assign a 3D object to this 3D path, you need to assign it to a task. Then once you've done that, assign your 3D path to your object. You may notice that the vehicle follows a path but does not follow the original rotation. In order to change this, if we go to 3D path properties, go to the keyframe list, if we right click, then click share directions from the selected row to path by all tangents. The lorry should now follow that path and also rotate at that curve as you can see there. If we just play that again, the vehicle will now follow that path during this task. Once the 3D path has been drawn, you can also edit it. So if we go to keyframe here and toggle between its keyframe, you can choose which keyframe you want to edit, and go, then go to edit, and then you should get this manipulator to come up. Now if you move it to its new desired position, then press capture keyframe, it will save that position. If we do it again for keyframe 5. If we move it, then press capture keyframe, it will save that position. Now if we review the whole path during this task, you will see that it will follow its new position.